all right there Haas so welcome back and in this video we are going to be learning how to make templates now a template is probably exactly what you're thinking about so if you just go online on Google and type in like shopping template or blog template or I don't know whatever template you're looking for basically what they are are these generic HTML documents with a bunch of dummy data in it so if you're looking for like a store template it would have like a dummy item and it would have a heading that says put title here put item description here yada yada tomato tomato so the reason that we use those templates in Django is because it allows us to pretty much separate our HTML from our back end stuff and that way you can have a web designer and you can say all right make me a structure for you know the home page or the album detail view and they can just make something generic and we can have that in one file and then later on we can go and fill in all the information we want to such as put in the actual album title where it's supposed to be so on and so forth so if it sounds confusing once I set it up you guys are gonna be like oh that actually is uh, not that confusing and it's very useful so actually let me go ahead and delete all of this HTML and code because that's what we're trying to avoid and all right so the first things first anytime you want to work with templates in Django just go ahead and write from the Django and template import loader so we're gonna make this template a separate file and we basically need to load it in so load files whatever all right now where do I want to stick this how about under here all right so I'm just gonna make a variable for our template whenever we load it in and that is loader dot get template and wow we didn't even create a folder for templates yet so might as well should probably do that and let me just go ahead in this video I'm gonna create a template for this home page and it's gonna be the most boring template you've ever seen but this is where you put it who is texting me someone's calling me from Evans Mills Evans Mills is this crappy town next to me, and there is literally nothing there, so it's kind of scaring me right now. All right, so the convention is in your apps root directory, go ahead and right click and make a folder called templates. Now you can actually change this in your settings, but this is kind of standard convention. And also another thing that you do is you actually right click this and make a new subdirectory with the same name as your app, so music, right in there now in here is actually where you put all of your HTML files so again I'm just making this for the home page so I'm gonna name it index and do I want to add it to get sure why not all right so this is actually the thing that's just gonna return the HTML just like we have been doing so let me go ahead and make a really sweet template right now and it's gonna be really leaving me messages huh all right so for each album we'll just have it as a list item instead of just having line breaks so we'll just say list item and then of course we need a link so href and then your URL goes there and then the album I'll say yeah. album title here alright so this is the most boring template you have ever seen in your life but this is basically what it is so our front-end developer or designer is going to give us something like this. Hopefully it's a little bit better unless they want to get fired. And then we have to plug in all of the pieces. So let's go back into our view and figure out how the heck to do that. Well, the first thing we're going to do is for this variable right here, we're actually going to need to load in this template file. So that is in the music directory and index.html. Now again, the reason that we don't write templates slash music slash HTML is again, by default, Django is already set up to look in a directory called templates in your apps directory. So make sure that you have that set up correctly. And now this template variable is a reference to this file. Pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create a dictionary. So whenever we pass this album information into our template we pass it through a dictionary and most people name this context you can actually name it anything you want but it's kind of the standard it basically means information that your template needs so 
you can also name these uh, name and value pairs anything you want but I always keep them the same as just whatever I'm using in my Python code makes it really easy so all albums is just equal to all albums there you go so of course the rules don't change whenever you have a view you need to return something and that is whenever we you know analyze everything in plug in our data we're gonna return this finalized template so how do we write that if we just go to template render inside this render function go context and always pass in your request so again what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass this information into our template we're gonna put all the pieces exactly where we need to be and then this is pretty much gonna get converted to final HTML that we're gonna return to the user so now what we can do is we can hop in our template now that everything is good to go right here and start plugging in those pieces so all we have to do is say okay the um, music slash ID goes here the album title goes here and we need to make a little loop so it loops through each one and just doesn't display one album so here is the special syntax that you use whenever you're using kind of uh, Django in an HTML document whenever you are using kind of think of it like Python code you use something like this alright so you surround your code with squiggly bracket percent sign percent sign squiggly bracket so since we're gonna want to loop through each album in what was the list all albums we're gonna write something like this for album in all albums and then anytime you want to end your for loop you do the same so and just write end for so again all kind of I want to say it um, Django code is gonna go in these special symbols now there's one exception and that is whenever you're using plain variables so for example in this href remember the structure for this was music slash the items ID now this ID is actually album variable an album attribute so that's gonna need to be a variable as well so you see already auto completed for me so I just say album dot ID and that's it that's all you need to know about working with templates anytime you have Python code then it goes in between these symbols anytime you're working with variables that you can just display as is they go in between double squiggly either left or right or beginning or ending whatever you want to call it so that looks good and also we need to have a variable for this title as well so we can just copy this and instead of ID it is just album title I think that was the attribute name and all right mate looking good I think all right so now let's go ahead and refresh our page and check it out and we know that it works because they are no longer just plain links before they are now part of an unordered list and we could see that everything worked correctly and we can click those looking sweet now one other thing that you may want to do and this is just kind of bonus is before you display this list you just want to make sure that you have some albums to display so maybe the user didn't add any albums yet instead of just displaying an empty list then they're gonna be like uh is the website broken we just may want to have a pop-up that says um, no albums are available or hey add some albums to your list or whatever so in order to do that let me go ahead and indent this all right so we need a if else statement so again these special symbols right here since it's kind of Python code and in order to check if they have items in their albums we'll just say if all albums so this is going to be true as long as they have at least one album so if they have albums then we can go ahead and display this code and now to make an else statement else what are we going to display if they don't have any albums I'll just say uh let me put like heading three no 
or say you don't have any albums and actually whenever you have if else you need to end it with an end if and that's just so Django knows where it's supposed to stop analyzing so and if and there you go so whenever we look at this since we do have albums it should be the same but if ever anyone was looking at this and they didn't then they would see this little indicator and that way they just don't have a blank screen is like uh, supposed to see something here or not what's going on all right so there you go that is basically how you use a template how your front end developer can give you you know the core blueprint of a web page and you can go in and pretty much plug in all the information that you need and again if it's kind of overwhelming if we do like one other one then it's going to stick in your brain easy peasy so thank you guys for watching i will smell you next time